What's going on you guys? So another Dell Vostro 3470. This is the small phone factor. It's got a Intel Core i7 Gen 8700 CPU. It's a six core, 12 threads. So I'm gonna look at the back. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna upgrade. So I'm gonna take a Phillips head screwdriver. There'll be two screws, one in the bottom, one on the top you have to remove. Slide to the left. So, first thing I need to do is remove the front cover plastic. I got clips. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys. And it's got a, see, it has an air mesh in here, the same as this one, but I removed this one for the better airflow. And this one is also, it's actually what it does is it blocks, it's not gonna be good airflow for the front. So, what you need to do is you're gonna take this air, uh, the red air mesh right here and just remove it like this, your finger, and it comes off. You don't need it. It's gonna be a lot better. It's better airflow. So what I'm gonna do is take a Phillips head screwdriver again. There'll be one, two, three screws you have to remove. top uh, remove this this cage it holds optical drive in a three and a half inch it's got a clipper here so you're gonna take your finger right here on the top lift it up like this and we'll slide to the right and comes off So what I'm gonna do is install two terabytes, three and a half inch hard drive. This is for extra storage. I'm gonna install like this. And just need two screws. One here on the left, one right. So now what I'll do is I will move this cage, lift it up, and I'm gonna install the upgrade the RAM. It's got a single channel in here, DDR4. And what I will do is I'm gonna install the match pair. It will support maximum 32 gigs of RAM, 9 CC. That's a 16 gig per each slot. So now what I will do is uh, upgrade the uh, SSD. So I'll do remove the video card so you guys can see better. The video card in here is installed on the bottom here. The top one is a PCI Express times one. The bottom one is a PCI Express times 16 slot. It's got a clip, you can lift it up like this, finger, and move the video card. Comes out. So when you see this clip right here, you're gonna lift it up like this, your finger, then you're gonna pull it. So what I'll do is upgrade the SSD, the 2280 here, it's got 256, kind of small. And this is it does not support NVMe, don't forget, it's a 2280 SATA. I'm gonna show you guys, uh, I did try to install NVMe, and it does not support. Uh, so what you have to do is, I did test, and one terabyte and two terabytes, this is a uh, M.2 2280 SATA SSD. I'm gonna put a link in the description, you guys can buy it. I'm gonna use the two terabytes. Because you can see right here, it shows right there, M.2 SATA 1. So I'm gonna install it. Clip it in, okay. Now we're gonna go and install the video card. And the video card, guys, I'm gonna be using 
This is a GT, NVIDIA GeForce GT 1030 uh, with a low profile bracket. So what I will do is I'm gonna go like this the other side and install the video card. So the video card is installed. Will be the last part is I'm gonna install the three and a half inch hard drive. So I'm gonna install this cage back. So you see right here the clip. This little screw right here, you have to go right here inside of here. See, don't forget, and it goes, slides in. Don't forget. Just like that. And I'm gonna go and install the hard drive. This is gonna be for the extra storage only. And then install the screws back. And you guys were asking, what about the power supply? The power supply in here is a 200 watt, so you can install RX 6400 low profile, work fine also. Uh, GTX 1650 will not fit in here because the PCI Express is located in the bottom and the top one is PCI Express times one, so it's not gonna work. But yeah, I would say this is a pretty solid machine. I like it. It also has a wireless with the Bluetooth. You see the antennas here in front. That's pretty cool. So we installed the RAM, the video card, upgraded SSD. And what I'll do is install back this front cover bezel. Front cover plastic. be the side cover panel. So basically what it does is uh, the airflow goes from here in the front, but it was blocking the front because we moved the air mash, so it'll be a lot of better airflow. I'm still back the screws. Show you guys the back. This is how it's gonna look like. The video card is installed. See you guys at the end of the video. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.